Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I want to show you how to create some fills such as this and you can do it with the background fills and some of your shapes. So let's get started. So one of the things I want to show you today and what we'll do is we'll take a shape and we'll just choose a rectangle and we'll draw a rectangle and you'll notice for this particular rectangle, I have a candle wicking stitch and a no sew region on the inside. Now what I want to do is go to home and go to the background fill and I'll select a decorative fill. So I'll click on the background and choose next. And then I'll choose a pattern that is open. That's a pattern that I can use to make other filled stitches. What really gave me the idea about this was watching a video by a, someone for Baby Lock, I believe. So I want to change the size of these circles and I'll make the circles 100 millimeters. And I think one of them was Brad Martin and the other was an educator that for Baby Lock. So I want to mention that this was not my idea. It's something that I saw them do. Now that I have this particular design here, I'll choose OK. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and select everything again. So I'll choose Select All. And then I'll go back to the background fill. And here's where it's fun. I can choose to fill some of these background fill stitches with other stitches. So we'll choose next and I'll go ahead and fill these with a different stitch. Now it can be any pattern and that's up to you, but it gives you an idea of a way to create something that's different by going in and using the background fills and filling different areas. So we could select some other areas as well and we'll just keep building on this. I'll go ahead and select everything and now I'll go back into the background fill and I'll choose the decorative fill again but this time I'll select the areas that I want to fill in and it will be some of these little diamonds that were created by the circles. Now on those we'll choose next and we'll choose another design. Right now it defaulted to what I had selected before, but I think for this what we'll do is we'll choose something that is, is a different design and I have no idea what this is going to look like. We'll just choose this pattern and choose OK. And if I don't like it, all I have to do is to change it. But if I'm satisfied with it, I'll just choose OK. So this gives you a quick idea how you can just take some of the shapes and you can start creating some very interesting patterns by using the decorative fills in the background fills to build your design. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please post them either in the Facebook group for PE Design 11 or post them on the YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.